Even as we get closer to the light at the end of the pandemic tunnel, live music is still struggling. Many venues are unable to host shows and performers are having to find new ways to make money. The Cap Times is stepping in to help some local artists. Chelsea is here to tell us a little bit more about that. Chelsea, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So you've been working to develop this local music series at the Cap Times. What exactly is in store? Yeah, um, I really wanted to, I mean, not only as someone who loves local music and wants to get back into, like you said, the light at the end of the tunnel to go to concerts, whether they're indoor or outdoor, um, we knew that local musicians especially um, have been challenged like everybody else through COVID. So we wanted to develop, to develop a series that could not only bring music to people who still aren't quite comfortable with going to an outdoor concert or even indoor later this year. In this way, we knew we could elevate the local artists. We can share their virtual tip jars. We can give them our audience who might be familiar with these artists, but who might not be. And we can hopefully get them some new fans um, in the Madison area. But we also just wanted to spread awareness for the ways that Madison can support them after a year of not being able to perform like they usually could. Yeah, and you've probably been in touch with some of these artists. This must be incredibly meaningful to them. They're so, yeah, they've been so grateful. Um, you know, initially we knew we wanted to support a diverse lineup. We wanted to give a platform to those who need it um, and who should have it. So we wanted to make sure to welcome um, a, a diverse lineup. And then not only that, but like, you might see Natty Nation performing more and more as the year goes on, but there's bands like uh, Proud Parents or even Rob D's who haven't been, and they're, this is the first time they're kind of getting back in front of the camera in this way. Um, and, and they're so grateful to just being able to lend them, like I said, our audience. And this is, uh, like you said, a very diverse lineup. How important was it to, you know, have something for everyone? You know, that obviously with the way the world is, everyone's kind of putting this at the center of their goals and initiatives. And for me, I knew that, you know, there's bands that I'll see, there's large scale bands that I might see um, at the Sylvie or at Bree Stevens, but I, I wasn't familiar as much with the local artists who, um, who can talk to all these different audiences and, and relate to them. And I it just felt, like we needed to give them this platform um, now more than ever. And um, yeah, so it feels really good to kind of have that initiative. You know, Monona Bank, I have to give a shout out to them because we really, we couldn't do the concert series without them because we're paying the bands, we're paying the venues at a time when they all need it most. And, and Monona Bank also was like, we want to be able to support the diverse local music scene. So uh, it feels really good to be able to, to help out and do and do the right thing in, in this situation. Yeah. That's so important, especially right now. Again, those concerts are on May 11th, July 13th, and September 14th. Something to look forward to for the rest of the summer. And we'll have information on how you can see the shows and connect on WKOW.com. Chelsea, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Again, this is a free series for you to watch, but the artists will get paid. Let's run through the lineup. This Tuesday at 7.30, you can catch Natty Nation in their 25th anniversary celebration. Reggae is their foundation, but they also embrace rock, soul, and funk. On July 13th, Rob D's and Opal Elise will be performing. That's a hip hop and spoken word night. And Proud Parents are scheduled for September 14th. They're kind of indie rock garage pop.